What? You choking on the cookie? We're choking to death on that cookie. Is it collapsing your trachea? No more cookies for you. No more cookies for the little dog. Mainly because I want the cookies. The cookies for myself. Uh, it is now after 11 o'clock at night here under the Girl Scout cookie time so I'm and I want to uh, it is uh, it is Tuesday night uh, December 3rd 2019 and I uh, need to be getting to bed in a little while. So, right before I go to bed, I'm enjoying some cookies and milk, mainly because I drank all my liquor. You know, I got down and did the fucking bottom of the tequila bottle, but there's only, there's just a little bit left. So, I got kind of a, a little extra shot of tequila, so I got all liquored up. I've been sitting here binging on binging on Netflix, and I've been fighting this urge. Uh, I want to tell you, yes, I want. I really want to send out a a heartfelt, uh, genuine thank you to kind-hearted tribes member Susan through Sancho Panza's Auntie Susan for her very, very kind uh, donation to the tribe, uh, to the cause. And I really want to thank Susan for sending me this goddamn box of Walker's Butter Cookies. This thing, I opened this goddamn thing. Well, I opened it. This is what I had for breakfast this morning. I, I opened these goddamn butter cookies. And, uh, here it is now. After 11 o'clock at night. And, um, I'm sitting here scarfing down the butter cookies. Under the it's Girl Scout cookie time, there is no palm oil in the Walker's butter cookies. This is 100% butter fat. Yet they say, I'm a little confused here. Uh, ingredients: wheat flour, butter sugar, wheat starch, and salt, contains gluten, suitable for vegetarians, pure butter shortbread cookies, suitable for vegetarians. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I would like some comments from the vegetarians about that, but anyway. Oh. oh, God. Yes. What do you think, little dog? Is it, Papa, I don't know about that. Is that a watermelon you swallowed? Or are you just eating too many butter cookies at 11 o'clock at night because you have no fucking willpower? You fat fucking pig. Jesus, you know, uh, 
I'm sure that some of you are probably figuring out what this rant's going to be about. And that is that smart-ass rant that I did yesterday where I uh, did not allow comments when I mentioned, I mentioned two things, you know, when I was talking about who, that women, uh, you know, supporting Humpty Dumpty tribe, women who do not want to send me money and, uh, and butter cookies uh, can just give me a blowjob for supporting, uh, <laughs> for supporting Humpty Dumpty tribe just to see how how many, you know, just to stir up some shit here on the tribe, kind of like I did with my straight talk, some straight talk about pussy, that famous video I did last year after I stirred up all of that, uh, all of that shit about my comment about losing my, my used up old pussy when I got dumped. Uh, by that 67-year-old militant vegan for uh, for uh, eating those hamburgers, those crystal hamburgers. <laughs> so anyway, this I guess this is just part two of some straight talk about pussy. We're now going to have uh, some straight talk about fat women. Now, even though I, e even though I, uh, you know, did not allow comments on that video. I guess two comments from, I don't know how old these women are, but my guess is these two fat women uh, coming in here, give, you know, reading me the riot act for being honest about my opinion about fat women. So I don't even know they, they, whether they were old or not. I don't think their problem about my joking about the blowjob, uh, I don't think the pro—I don't think uh, that their problem was the fact that I said if you want to give me a blowjob, you need to be under the age of 62. Their problem was that uh, I said in, in order for me to accept. A blowjob as uh, as support for Humpty Dumpty tribe, you needed to have a BMI of less than 22. And when I said that, I was just wildly guessing my own BMI, which is the body mass index. It's real easy to calculate your own BMI, just but calculate your body mass index, and you can figure it out yourself. So I thought that I had a BMI of 22, and since I think that I am 20 pounds overweight, I think I am 20 pounds overweight. I am. I am completely embarrassed by this. I have nobody to fucking blame except myself for this big fat fucking belly of mine because I cannot resist eating half a box of fucking butter cookies and drinking a gallon of milk uh, after 11 o'clock at night. I've got no fucking willpower. Okay, I don't have to look like this. I, in, in, in one month from now, I could make this fat blob, this disgusting fat blob of adipose tissue disappear. But I don't have the fucking willpower. It is nobody's fault but mine. I am not blaming it on the Girl Scout cookies. I'm not blaming it on the butter cookies. I'm not blaming it on Susan for sending me the butter cookies. There is one person to blame for this big fat ass belly of mine and it's me. I take full fucking responsibility for this absolutely disgusting blob of adipose tissue. Uh, hanging off of me. Uh, no wonder I've got a goddamn backache. No